Well, this is the last one of our series of His Provision devotionals. It's also the start of a new year, 2022. That seems just weird to say, and I'm sure I'm going to get used to it. But we've seen the hardships of 2020 and the remnants of the impact on 2021. Yet through it all, if we were to reflect on the past, we would see God's faithfulness. It always prevails. We sometimes just need to stop, look back in the rearview mirror, and thank God for his rich, unfailing love, his mercy, and his grace. What a great God we serve. Philippians puts it in a perspective as Paul says this, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Jesus Christ. I believe we are called for a radical commitment from God's people all over the world to tackle the giant obstacles that keep people in spiritual darkness. In this new year, as we press forward, we can once again affirm our commitment to the work of the Great Commission and our own army's mission to preach the gospel, making disciples, and to meet human need in his name. My prayer is that we will view this decoration as a covenant with God, promising him that right now we will do whatever it takes, anytime, anywhere, any way. So today I ask you to join me as we step into a new year. We cross the line. Rick Warren says it this way, I'm tired of waffling. I'm finished with wavering. I've made my choice. The verdict is in. My decision is irreparable. I'm going God's way. There's no turning back now. I want to live the rest of my life serving God's purposes with God's people on God's planet for His glory. Committed to using our skills and our talents and our resources our efforts to celebrate God's presence, giving him the glory for everything, to demonstrate his love to all around you. And as Paul indicates, our past is already forgiven. I have a purpose for living and heaven is my goal. So let's not waste time or energy on shallow living, living in the past, worrying about the future or even the past. I invite you to magnify the Lord with me, to grow in our spiritual walk, and to bring others along. Let it be we over me, service over comfort, people over possessions. Position, well, that doesn't really matter. It's not important in the kingdom of heaven. So let Christ matter most. Let's not be captured by the world, that we become more enduring to the worldly things than giving Christ our all and our best. Let's fix our eyes on the prize with God's grace and allowing his spirit to guide us and to lead us. However, whenever, wherever, and whatever you ask me to do, Lord, my answer in advance is yes. Wherever you lead, whatever the cost, I'm ready. Anytime, anywhere, any way, whatever it takes, Lord, whatever it takes an African youth pastor from Zimbabwe, found among his papers after he was martyred for his belief, says this, I'm part of the fellowship of the unashamed. The die has been cast. I've stepped over the line. The decision has been made. I'm a disciple of his, and I won't look back, let up, slow down, back away, or be still. My past is redeemed. My present makes sense. My future is secure. I'm done and I'm finished with low living, sight walking, small planning, smooth knees or cheap living, and dwarf goals. I no longer need preeminence, prosperity, position or promotions, or popularity. I don't have to be right, or first, or tops, or recognized, or praised, or even rewarded. I live by faith. I lean on his presence, walk by patience, lifted by prayer, and labored by the Holy Spirit's power. My face is set. My gait is fast. 
My goal is heaven. My road may be narrow, my way rough, my companions few, but my guide is reliable and my mission is clear. I won't be bought, compromised, detoured, lured away, turned back, deluded or delayed. I will not flinch in the face of sacrifice or hesitate in the presence of the adversary. I will not negotiate at the table of the enemy, ponder at the pool of popularity, or meander in the maze of mediocrity. I won't give up. I won't shut up or let up until I've stayed up, stored up, prayed up, and paid up, and preached up for the cause of Christ. For I am a disciple of Jesus. I must give until I drop, preach until all know, and work until he comes. And when he comes for his own, He'll have no problems recognizing me. My colors will be clear. However, whenever, wherever, and whatever you ask of me to do, Lord, my answer in advance is yes. Wherever you lead, whatever the cost, I'm ready. Anytime, anywhere, any way. I pray that this would be an encouragement to you in this new year. We started this series two years ago with the song, His Provision. Let me leave you with this chorus. Holy Spirit, promise presence fall on me. Holy Spirit, make me all I long to be. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, give your power to me. Oh, Holy Spirit, God bless you. Give your